Your Highness, it has become my intention to gather to myself a band of noble warriors to instruct and test thy troops in the fires of combat, holding back on our true strength, lest we deprive Umeria of its army, in hopes that your majesty will grant my humble request, your servant, Eric Conrad Elliott, Field Marshal, RBAF. I accept your proclamation in the name of the King of Umeria. Go and prepare to meet thy doom. Long live Umeria. When we get him diverted, we'll go over by the side, all right? Get around back and get behind him. Station four. Can I come in? Oh, you may enter. Report, quarterdeck. Yeah, let's have it nice and sharp there. There's enemy out there. All right, are all the guns functional? Yes, sir. Very good. Stand by. They're out there. Um, hi. Hello, my name is Dave Allen. Oh, welcome. How are you? Fine. How about yourself? Tell me, you, you mentioned when I was talking to you on the outside gate, a war is about to start. It looks like we're in for a good one today. <laughs> Sounds like we're under attack. All engines ahead fall. Well, sometimes it'll go on all night. It all depends on their, the enemy's uh, tactics. Sometimes, and all of a sudden, some sly guy comes up through a trap door from the tunnel, opens the main doors, and all of a sudden, you have company in there on the battle stage, and it gets wet. You Right up, over there, over there. Right up, right up, right up. I don't know. So $14, you're special. So we have a full complement of uh, personnel on hand and oh, plenty of battle stations and areas to keep dissident people and things like that. Like, uh, we're right now listening to some prisoners that are trying to break out of the lower dungeon from a few days ago. They keep beating on the gates, but they just don't open. See that big iron wheel over there? In a few minutes, we may have some prisoners down there, and you'll see that act, and they don't escape when the iron portcullis goes down. <laughs> You see that sign up there? The king always wins. <laughs> You're the king. Well, I'm the one that gives the orders around here. So who built all the, the, the complex out there, the forts and the tunnels? My students did all that. They're really uh, enthusiastic about building things like that. They built all this, too. With this thing, you can hear all over the area. There isn't any place that can't be listened in by the Combat Information Center. CIC knows all. Goose Patrol, report. Goose. 
That's better. Be on the alert, Goose. Look, you're down, Keith. You better respond. Now, people, some people are actually going to take you seriously. Well, it's a serious matter defending Boomeria. Boomeria? Is that the land you call it, Boomeria? <laughs> well, that's what my students started calling it, and it kind of stuck. What about your neighbors? Well, we don't have many neighbors close by. They learn about this place fast and decide to look someplace else for their homes. What is the attitude of parents? When they, they really like it. It gets the kids out of their house, they spend the weekend up here in the dungeon, and the parents don't have to worry about them. Kid doesn't get in trouble when he's down there. You're quite an amazing man, aren't you? Because you, well, you, your, your whole house is open house to all your students. Yeah. They can come here any time. That's right. It's fun. I like having them around. Might even check out the galley. Galley, combat. All right, let's get those cooks working up there. Hear that? Immediate action. What about your colleagues at the, uh, at the college? Your teaching colleagues? Well, most of them are fairly normal people. They avoid this place. Tower One, what's that report? Nothing. All right, watch out for their water balloons and their pies. Aye, aye, sir. Well, our motto is, we refuse to grow up. When you look around you and see what grown-ups are like, what's life to them? Watching television, drinking beer. I guess you have that over in the mother country, too, on the telly. We decided we weren't interested in that. We'd rather have some action, like digging a good tunnel. We have 120 meters of tunnel underneath this place. It goes around in a big maze. And uh, it connects the dungeons together, the battle stations, the towers, and the castle. My mother says I'll like green salad when I grow up, and I don't like green salad yet. Galley, combat! Galley! You better not be making any green salad up there. Okay. See, that's poison stuff. And it's the first step of growing old when you eat green salad. Down, Igor. How long have you been playing these games? Oh, too long. <laughs> uh, About five years, I guess. Seven I years. Mm, Quite a while. Year. How, how did you get involved in it? Well, we, we met Mr. Boomer in, uh, in high school, and we heard people telling these stories about a castle and tunnels and towers and things. And we thought they were crazy, of course. And then we... Who was the, the first time we came up here, we joined the oh, Natural Philosophy. 1970. 1970. The science 70. club in school. Yes. And we came up here for the initiation. We found out it was all true. Oh, it's incredible. He's been building on it for... Ever since he's been teaching here, 20 years or something like that? Something ridiculous. He calls himself uh, P.Q. Laboom. And his you, motto is, the king always wins. And the guillotine is just symbolic, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I think it's oh, yeah, for salami um, and watermelons. Yes, yeah, on picnics we use it. Like Submarine oh. sandwiches, <laughs> specimens. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Boomer. Look out for the aqua goose. What? <laughs> 